I may uh, whisper three of the most ferocious times I've seen go down. But the one with, uh, with I think Dave set the screen for you, and then you got challenged at the rim. Can you take us through that play in particular? Because it seemed to kind of bring the house down. Um, yeah, I feel like I've always been athletic, um, but <laughs> uh, nah, I'm just kidding. I, well, I think I think um, I've just been trusting trusting in the work that I put in. Um, I think after last season, I kind of had a little bit of PTSD about jumping, whether it be for rebounds or, or dunking, or like I didn't really trust myself. That's why I would lay it up a lot of times on the fast break. Um, and so, because I, I, I was just scared, I was going to come down and tweak something again. And I think you know, finally, I just like. After I'm just gonna try and dug it and, and try to try to trust my body and trust the work that I put in, and I think that's what happened tonight. What did, what did that one in particular feel like, though? I mean, I think Desmond came up and tried to challenge you the last second, and you obviously won that battle. Uh, yeah, I felt good. Um, I can't remember the last time I've done that. Uh, like I said before, I think just getting over my fear of jumping and just trying to trying to win. Shaylin, coach kind of told us about a moment you had with the guys in the locker room saying, "Tune out the outside noise." focus inward. Can you just talk about kind of what this buildup has felt like coming into this last home game, looking ahead at the postseason, but also focusing on the moment yeah. in front of you? Uh, to me, this is like really the whole thing is big. I was talking with the coach earlier. Like I remember my senior year where I had no offers because some stuff happened and I was coming to their games and their stuff was like $10 tickets, if you know what I mean. And now we're talking about probably the biggest match happening on the West Coast on Saturday night. Um, it's just crazy how much the atmosphere around here has changed. I mean, they could tell you from their freshman year, so they were the one that really went through it. When I came, we were kind of um, climbing. So I think this is just the, the, the top of the mountain type thing. Um, it's gonna be his last time in Poly, um, maybe Tiger's last time in Poly, if you know what I mean. It's gonna be a lot of emotions. It's gonna be more family than any other game I assume because it's senior night. Um, it's for a number one seed on the West, uh, for an undefeated home record. It's for a lot, a lot of the marbles to sit on the table, if you know what I mean. So I was just telling them in the locker room, get your tickets done tomorrow. Whoever you can get, you can get. You know, we don't need you to think about nothing else. I'm trying not to look back there right now, if you know what I mean, and watch them. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a zoo here in 48 hours. Hey, Jaime, uh, we already spoke about the dunks, but those 19 points in the first half. You scored in every type of way, side the dunks, fast break points, put backs. Did some of that ferocity come from playing from behind? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I think we, you know we got down, and I, and I was just upset at um, you know myself and just you know the way the way we were playing, and, and I knew that you know I only got so many games left. I'm going to go down swinging. Um, uh, my, my teammates were able to find me in open spots um, in the fast break. I know they hit me a bunch of times. Tiger hit me, Lamar hit me. Dylan hit me all fast break points, so um, you know I should credit them for those. And uh, yeah, I was just trying, trying to do everything I can to just put our team back in the game. And Tiger, uh, about seven points in the first four minutes in the second half. Do you feel like you were finding your spots better? Uh, yeah, the, you know, Dem was setting some really good ball screens, and then um, in transition, J. Rock and I were putting three. So I think it was just um, like you said, just finding the, my spots and being confident when I shoot my shots. Hi, man. Can't reel one tonight. Just, just, yeah, <laughs> yeah so they're in the regional oh semis. So, you know, they be no <laughs> And then, um, look, everyone's picking you to be the Pac-12 player of the year. Is that an award you want? You know, have you been, is that kind of on your checklist of awards this year, so to speak? No, I have three awards on my checklist. So I already got one, and now I'm looking for two more. <laughs> Uh, and then just kind of talk about, I asked you a couple weeks ago, you know, I saw someone trying to take selfies with you. We talked about kind of like your fandom on campus. Has that grown even more the last week leading into the final home games here? And if so, um, how so? Um, yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, I, I think we had a funny um, incident. I went to class and after class, one of, one of my classmates asked to take a selfie with me. So I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, so that, I think that was probably the funniest thing that's happened to me so far this week. And I know he's not going to say it, but he deserves the damn award. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you watch over the last span, the stuff he was doing, like, even if you look tonight, he had 15, he's sizing people up, playing around and stuff. He rebounds, he defends. People will say he can't stay in front of the ball. He challenges shots above the rim. He scores in three ways. I mean, I, I've guarded all the best, and he's the hardest person I've had to guard. By far, not even close. So yeah, yeah that's what that's what it's based on. People today on board, you're just home right now. <laughs>
facts. I got missed that. What did you say? I said facts. Shane <laughs> <laughs> Clark is only speaking facts. He pulled his head out. A couple things, Jalen. Is this, have you decided this is your last game, home game, too? Nah, not at all. I mean, like I'm saying, I take, I'm looking at what's in front of me. You know what I mean? I feel like if you play with that F mindset or something like that, it ain't going to go well. This is family. I love being here. I won't mind. I mean, if I come back next year, it won't be a shock. You know what I mean? Like, I just look. It's UCLA. I mean, shoot, I grew up 50 miles from here, going watching them all on TV. So, yeah, it's, it's love. And then now that we know that, you know, this is here now for you guys, um, how are you guys going to treat this last game uh, Saturday? I mean, how have you guys thought about, you know, it'll be emotional, I'm sure. How do you, how do you get through that? Hey, man, I, I, ain't lie, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I know high school senior night is one thing. I think this is going to be a whole other thing. Um, I think we're just going to try to have as much fun as we can. Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like every time I'm on the floor, I just I keep smiling. I'm just so happy to play with all these guys. I think we built something really special here. Um, I know, you know, me and Tiger, uh, you know, we were freshmen. We started off. Like, our journey has just been so, so many ups and downs. It's been a roller coaster. We started off. Um, no, you know, no one coming to our games, no one even wanting to. Everyone overlooking us. Um, yeah, exactly. Now we're selling out uh, games against Cal Berkeley, and now we got Arizona selling out games. I mean, it's just we've come so far, and uh, I just credit that to all the hard work that we put in. Um, you know, the guys sitting right next to me, the coaches, even the managers, our, our strength staff, Tyler, Nate, Daniela, our, our nutritionist. It was just so, just so much that goes into making this program what it is right now, and I just. I'm just so thankful to be a part of it. I know your team uh, nine straight here in March. You're on a terrific roll. How good is this team right now, or do you think there's still room uh, beyond this? Uh, I think there's still room beyond this. I think we're hitting our strides, though. I think we're very confident. Uh, I thought we played a lot better game this game in the second half uh, than we did in Colorado. We learned a lot. Um, and I think we're just going to keep getting better. And I think that's what you guys are saying. And Jalen, Pete? pretty much carried the team in the first half when other guys weren't scoring. What was that like? I mean, you've seen it all year from him. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just one of the things where at least I feel like if you play any type of basketball, if someone rips off one, two, three, four, five, you got to keep going until they, like, burn out. And he wasn't burning out. Like, when I saw him sizing people up and playing around and shimmying and all that, I'm like, oh, he's, he's on another level. Man. You know what I mean? It's more just, like, get out the way and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's really cool playing with these guys. It makes my job a lot easier. I don't got to worry about what happens on the offensive end. It's just going to it's just gonna flow. And I know people think our offense is weird and all that. I mean, for us, it worked. And at the end of the day, it works. And like I may say, we're hitting our stride right now. It's the beginning of March. Anything can happen. But hopefully, I'll be talking to one of y'all five weeks from now before I go on my vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, th this one's for you, Tiger. Uh, obviously, you guys had that run last year, and point guard play is so important in the tournament. <clears throat> you guys, looks like it's going to be maybe Sac or Denver and then Vegas, so there's a, a nice route for you guys. Do you feel like your game is where you need it to be now to lead this team to another Final Four? Um, to be honest, no. Uh, I got to keep getting better, uh, you know, get better at talking on defense, get better at leading these guys. Um, and just going into March, I gotta make sure that everybody's ready. Uh, it's not all about me, it's about all these guys that I play with. And uh, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of things that I need to get better at um, if I wanna lead this team to uh, another Final Four appearance. But I think, I think I can do it. Do you feel like you have picked it up though? Oh yeah, yeah, I think I'm starting to hit my stride more. But uh, you know, it's one game at a time and kinda like Jaime said, we haven't done anything yet. We've still got uh, some more goals we wanna accomplish this year. Jaime, as you approach your final game with Paulie, can you talk about how I, I know every aspect of your game has to have improved in time you got here, but tell me in, in general, from inside, how are you a different player than you were when you arrived here way back when? You guys are asking some deep questions right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Um, I think I'll just start off by saying, um, you know, I've always, uh, from high school, you know, I've always kind of been um, um, that guy on the team um, that, you know, they get the ball to it and get out of the way. And I, I don't think I had a guy on my team go to Division One from, from my school all four years that I played there. We had some guys that were, that were solid and, and played and went on and played in college. But I think just coming into UCLA was really uh, 
eye-opening experience to have guys on your team that are you know just as good or even better than you. And you know, I got to learn um, you know how to you know let, let guys go. You know, I had Chris Smith on my team who was tremendous. Um, you know, we had a lot of guys, Johnny Juzang, you know, just that could score the ball just as well, just as well as me. And, and I thought, I think I've learned a lot how to play with other great players. I got guys like Tiger and Jalen across from me too. Um, you know, just play with other, other, you know, great players and, and just, I guess, grow, grow, grow in that way and learn, learn how to, you know, let, let, let someone else do it and, and understand that the way that I'm going to be on the floor no matter what, as long as I play hard, a rebound and play defense. And I think that's one of the biggest things I've learned here from UCLA. And uh, I, I would still try to do that. Great, thank you. For Jaime Tiger, Nick mentioned yesterday that in terms of four-year players he's had, he kind of put you guys in the uh, same range as uh, Kirkpatrick and Clark who he had in Cincinnati. Did C ever mention past players and how much that would mean as far as being mentioned in that group of guys he's had? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he took a big risk leaving Cincinnati. Um, he had you know he had everything he wanted. He came to UCLA with a bunch of guys, um, you know, and, and really tried to teach us his way of basketball, and, and that's winning basketball. And he to to be able to you know go along this journey with him for four years has been great. He's taught me just so much about basketball and, and life and life in general, and I'm just so happy uh, that we're able to go through this journey together. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Like I know he don't watch this, but he really, he really believes in us. I know he looks crazy from the outside and stuff, but I'm just saying he ain't hit no transfer portal. At least for me, he came back. He's like, if you work, you are gonna play. I mean, you seen that what's been happening with these two. Like at the end of the day, he, I feel like in my heart, Jimmy, he really believes in us, and he wants all of us to be successful, whether it's on the court or off. Thank you guys. Thank you.